Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and in this video I'm going to summarize what's happening with the two current versions of OneNote for desktop PC. At the time of filming, which is February of 2020, we have both OneNote for Windows 10 and OneNote 2016 available. But I think there were some announcements recently, uh, and I think that they're going to make OneNote 2016 fans very happy. The sources for this video are linked in the description, and I've done my best to give you an accurate and up-to-date information in this video, but if you do find any errors or discrepancies, please let me know, and I can add a correction in the video or in the description. While I want to be accurate, I also want to keep this video to a useful length, so I may not go into depth on every single point. So currently, we have two versions available for um, the desktop PC. Um, in this video, I'll be referring to the two versions as OneNote for Windows 10 and OneNote 2016. In conversations, I often hear different versions of OneNote referred to as the desktop version or the app version. The reason I don't really use these terms desktop and app is because I don't think they're as clear as using the full version name and because I've seen people in conversation use those terms interchangeably. So I think it's most clear to refer to the two versions as OneNote for Windows 10 and OneNote 2016. Now, OneNote for Windows 10 is also called OneNote UWP, and it's also called simply OneNote, and I'll get into the UWP a little later in this video. So let's look at a little bit of history here. OneNote was launched around 20, 2003 and then was updated in 2007, 2010, 2013, and 2016, along with various Microsoft Office updates. While these versions were being uh, launched and updated, there was another version for PC being developed called OneNote UWP, and UWP stands for Universal Windows Platform. The best information I found on OneNote UWP was that it was first launched in 2012, and then there was a stable build launched in 2018. I couldn't find any firm statements from Microsoft about why the UWP version was being created alongside the existing versions of OneNote, but a Wikipedia article, which I've linked in the description, um, that article was on UWP, and it suggests to me that using UWP makes it easier to write programs that talk to each other. So it's possible that the UWP version was being developed with the intention of making OneNote interface more easily with other programs, but I can't say for sure. That's just a guess. The UWP version is now called OneNote for Windows 10, along with being called uh, OneNote UWP or simply OneNote. For about the last two years or so, PC users could use both OneNote for Windows 10 and OneNote 2016, but it had been announced in that OneNote 2016 would no longer be developed and that support would end. So in April of 2018, Microsoft announced that going forward it was going to focus on making OneNote for Windows 10 the single best version of OneNote and that OneNote 2016 would be phased out over a period of time. That's kind of summed up in the first two bullets. Um, in the description of this video, there's a link to this 2018 announcement. I've just pulled a couple of excerpts from it. Uh, the first bullet says, over the last few years, we've been focused on making OneNote for Windows 10 the best version of OneNote on Windows. And then the second bullet is, uh, we'll continue to offer support, bug fixes, and security updates for OneNote 2016, but not new features. Um, so the intent was to add features to OneNote for Windows 10 to get it up to par with OneNote 2016 and to make the OneNote experience more consistent across devices and platforms. And reading the second two bullets, um, we have number three that says ensuring that nearly all of your favorite features in OneNote 2016 are also available in OneNote for Windows 10. So they're adding features that were popular from OneNote 2016 into OneNote for Windows 10. And then the final bullet is, last year we unveiled a new look and feel for OneNote on Windows 10, Mac, iOS, Android, and OneNote Online that align the, the disparate designs into a single unified interface. And I think that's where they're um, talking about trying to get the experience of using OneNote to be consistent regardless of what device or platform you're using. Now, I do feel that Microsoft did a good job of adding features to OneNote for Windows 10, but many people still preferred OneNote 2016 and just never felt as good about using the Windows 10 version. So that brings us to November of 2019. 
In November 2019, OneNote announced that the OneNote 2016 version would be available for longer than originally planned. From that announcement, which I've linked in the description, I have these dates. Um, so let's see, first of all, continuing mainstream support of OneNote 2016 is going to go on for longer than originally announced. Um, support for OneNote 2016 aligns with support for Office 2019, and that is uh, mainstream support will end in October of 2023, and then extended support ends in October of 2025. The other uh, significant date in this announcement is that starting in March of 2020, OneNote for Windows 10 is going to be the default version for when you install um, a new subscription of Office 365 or um, a new version of, like, say, you know, the Office Suite. The default version will be the OneNote for Windows 10, but you can also get OneNote 2016 by just going to their website and installing it there. And you can use them on the same machine. Um, so the last little piece that I couldn't find an update on was the consistency across devices. I haven't been able to find any recent statement from Microsoft on this, but it does seem logical to me that they would continue to have this as a desired goal. So this concludes my summary of the available versions for OneNote on desktop PC as of February 2020. I hope this was helpful to you in understanding your version options for using OneNote on a desktop PC. So if you want to see more OneNote tutorials like this, as well as videos on goal setting, productivity, and life management, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and let me know you like this by hitting the thumbs up button. If you want to talk to other OneNote users on Facebook, join us in one or both of the communities I host, the OneNote Bullet Journal group or the OneNote for iPad group. Both are linked in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.